You know the three questions already, so let's go. Question, okay. tell me about yourself. Good evening, Ma. I am joining this live section from Potakot River State. Okay. I am meeting in the Monday Moses. I come from Akwaibom State. I am a graduate of chemical and petrochemical engineering. Okay. And for, for the six core values, Hi. I have the five core values. <laughs> okay. I work really hard. I work really hard. I believe in hard work. And that gave me a CGP of 4.35, which was the best for the time I graduated. And for honesty, for integrity, my, my HOD, which happened to be a Muslim, seeing all those qualities in me, he made me his PA, someone that assists him to run errands. And the fellowship I worshipped with gave me an opportunity to save, which after they gave me an award, for service rendered for everyone and for God. And I I daily follow you up to actually learn more about intentional living and doing what makes us happy, traveling the world and working really hard because you work really, really hard and you are an inspiration for me. <laughs> okay, for the second question, I I want to I want to buy a laptop and because I have, I have a, a, the field of engineering, chemical engineering I'm, I'm focusing on, that's unit operations and production processes. So I think buying a laptop that is very, very good, that can run simulations and plan designs would be the best for me and it will cost up to 300000 but since you're willing to give me a, a good scholarship on. I think I need to buy it. I don't even think I need to buy a good laptop that will run those simulations for me and put me in a good place as a chemical engineer. I'll have to take online courses, certification courses that are free. I am on Coursera. I am on EDX because I, I try to follow up little that I can on my phone. And the remaining hundred dollar i would want to use it for my application for my scholarship applications for masters outside the country i want to use it to get my students transcripts from my school use it to write my recommendation letters maybe pay transport to go and meet my lecturers who would help me write them and ensure that i put everything in place to to gain my my master's scholarship to continue my education and become the chemical engineer that i want to become and for the third question <laughs> Uh -huh. Sorry, I'm not giving you time. Okay, but the third question, I want to become, I want this scholarship because I really dream to become a chemical engineer so that others, other ladies out there can know that a lady can become a chemical engineer, a good one at that, at the top. We don't do mediocrity where we just study and we don't become. We, I want to become it. And while I wait to have the master's scholarship, I want to write to do remote jobs because I have um, requests coming in, like two came in last week, but I can't work with my phone to write. I, I'm good at writing. So I would want to write for companies and make some money while I wait for my scholarship, my master's scholarship to come to fulfillment, to become a success. Mm -hmm. And as a sustainable development goal advocate, I volunteer for United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. They have 17 goals. And some of those goals are poverty ele elevation, no, zero hunger, mm -hmm. quality education, no good health and well-being, gender equality, decent work and economic growth, reduced inequality. I, sent, I go to schools around me. I synthesize students, pupils, and school leavers. I've been talking to them on why they need to take their education very serious, why they need to study, why they need to read to become who they want to be. And I synthesize them about keeping the environment clean, doing the things that they ought to do. I synthesize them. So if I have this scholarship, I'll be able to tell them that I'm an evidence, an example. I will not just tell them the theory. I would want to become that example that they need to know that this thing is possible, that if they can see to study their books, then they can become who they want to become. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's, that's all interesting. And thanks, thanks for sharing. Um, Etinia, for those of us who might not know this, my second scholarship application, she actually applied. And I think it was really uh, mostly my, my bias for also being a chemical engineer. 
I think your, uh, <laughs> your scholarship is really based on the fact that you want to use this money to get an advanced degree. So you're trying to do your master's degree in chemical engineering, yes, right? And I, yes, I, I hear you reference a lot that you want to be a chemical engineer, but you already have a chemical engineering degree, right? Your first degree was chemical engineering. Yes, ma'am. So I want yes, you to know that you are already a chemical engineer. Um, just okay. because you're not working right now doesn't mean you're not a chemical engineer. You've earned that degree. Personally, I don't work as a chemical engineer right now. In fact, okay. in fact, since I graduated from university, I've never worked as a chemical engineer. Wow. <laughs> but that doesn't take away my degree. I'm still a chemical engineer. When I finished university, I worked for a while as a petroleum engineer. Because I worked for wow. a couple of years. And then now I'm working as a clinical researcher. Because chemical engineering is very versatile. Um, in fact, yeah. I might be going to go and work in the beauty industry. I've already made some of my own beauty products. I've made a lip color. I've made, um, you know, lashes and stuff like that. So chemical engineering is very versatile. You can use it for a lot of things. So I want you to start identifying as a chemical engineer because you've earned that degree. Okay. Okay, so yes, I think that, um, the question I'm going to ask you is what I didn't really get from your answers is what do you do right now for a living? What do you do right now for a living? Do you do anything right now? Okay, right now I am serving. I'm a co member. I'm serving and oh, okay. I work also as, yeah, as a volunteer. I just work as a volunteer, but I try to apply for jobs online, but I cannot really work with my phone and I try to study with my phone. That I, the limitation I have right now is that I do not have a system and that's the real thing that's keeping me down. That's a, I that's, really need a lot. That's the real limitation. I hire a lot of, yeah. uh, I hire a lot of uh, special assistants and I can tell you for free that that's a real limitation. Okay. That's the real limitation I have. Now. Yeah. Okay. All right. So fair enough. Um, tell me just a little bit more about the work that you do, the volunteer work that you do. So you go to different schools, right? Do you have yeah. like a special session, or do you just go to a class and take a few minutes? How many minutes does it take you to like have this discussion with the kids, and what format is it? I'm interested in that for a reason. I'll tell you the reason, but just just real quick. I know we don't have any much time. Somebody else okay. has that, but I don't see them anymore. So, yeah, we have a few minutes. Okay, ma. We go there in pairs. We go there most, sometimes as group. Sometimes we go as pairs. Sometimes I go individually. We go to the class, and we have maybe 30 minutes talk with them. We tell them about quality education. We tell them about hard work. We tell them about keeping the environment clean. We tell them about... No, um, no, um, gender inequality that a girl can become whatever they wish to become that no, no career is meant for just the guys and we tell them the things they should look out for if a guy touches them in the wrong places they need to make the the adults know about it we tell we talk to them about self hygiene when they start seeing their menstruation what they should do that is the work we do as volunteers okay so this talk is only for young girls then yeah, we also talk to the boys. Oh, okay. So what do you tell the boys? Because I'm asking you this question because I, I have a teenage boy that needs to be motivated. I feel like my second son could use some motivation. Okay. He's doing great now. He's doing much better. But I still feel like he can use some motivation. And maybe hearing it from somebody else other than his mother or his brother might be a good idea. Okay, for the boys, we tell them to be more to show more care and sympathy to girls if they happen to see them on menstruation and they, their clothes get stained they should not mock or laugh at them they should only show concern and be more sympathetic towards the girl and we also encourage them to take the academic serious that whoever they wish to become they can become if they are focused and if they work hard if they study hard that they can become who want to become that and they should forget about the peer groups because they have different destinies between their friends they are different persons so they should just focus on who they want to be they should not follow the friends my friend wants to be a medical doctor so i should be no you have your passion things that drive you things you want you look out for then you should build yourself and not follow your friends on their career path you should follow your own career path okay so i 
think and I, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something for you, which I think, I hope that will help you. First of all, I'm going to post this scholarship um, interview on, on my YouTube. And well done on being, you know, cons you know persistent um, to make sure, because I know you joined me on Facebook and the network wasn't networking. Okay. All right. So, uh, I'm going to just, so I'm going to post it on YouTube. So, it's like I told okay, everyone. Ma. Make sure you share your link. Make sure you get people to vote for you because we're going to let the crowd decide who gets this next scholarship, okay?